Good evening. What a day is Thursday, October 25th, 2018. Your update for Friday 26. All right, let's go. Well, this is why I didn't get too excited yesterday on these shorts. As you know, short covering rallies can be quite vicious, although this really wasn't quite vicious. But obviously, the market bounced a little bit in here today. And we'll take a look at that in just one second. As far as setups going into tomorrow, I'm actually not seeing a whole lot of setups. Let's keep these two on. I hate the fact that this UGP came close to triggering but didn't trigger. So just keep an eye out for an opening gap reversal there. Should it gap above the entry and come right back in, then avoid it and or look to get in above the high, depending on the size of the gap. GH still looks like it has potential. It actually caught my eye in scanning. I got all excited and realized it was GS, something we're already going after. Here's the list. Not a whole lot to look at tonight. Pretty much a subset from last night. As you can see, a couple of shorts in here and just a couple of longs, too. Uh, UGP, still think it has potential. Obviously, you want to wait for an entry on that one. And GH still looks pretty good. In fact, I liked it. I like it better now that it has this bit of a deep retrace in here. Let's take a look at the portfolio. Then we'll pop out, obviously, to the overall market. First of all, let's take a look at GDDY. A little bit of a bounce. Not much, though, so far. This stock still looks like it's in a lot of trouble, especially if you throw the bow ties in. You can see just in the early phases of rolling over. Ditto for INTU and NTAP. And that's one thing I was talking about earlier in a week of charts. Today is you want to find those stocks that are rolling over from high levels, bow ties, first thrust, and patterns like that. And there's NTAP also bouncing a little bit in here. But still looks like it could be in a lot of trouble longer term. Let's take a look at the overall market. In fact, I guess let's just stick with those major MIGs for now. Obviously, a little bit of a bounce in the overall market. But when you look at the sector action, it wasn't quite as strong as the overall market would suggest. And we'll get to that in just one second. Let's take a look at the piece. That's not the piece. That's the piece. As you can see, not a bad bounce at all, 186. But it did have a pretty big drop yesterday. I think it was 3 or 4%. Was that uh, a little bit more than that uh, on the prior day? Nearly 4%. On the prior day or certainly over three but just a little bit of a bounce back so far not a whole lot to get excited about if this is a big start of something bigger big retraces would not surprise me ideally i like to see the market go straight back up of course i like to get some longs on before that happens but right now is the time to pick your spots very very carefully and i think it's okay to have some shorts working in here as i often say darn if you do and darn if you don't on the short side if you don't get short, the market implodes. If you do get short, it might implode, but then it has a sharp retrace rally. NASDAQ up 3%. Not a bad day there, but still not recovering all of its losses from the prior day, obviously. And still looks like it's in a lot of trouble. And as I often say, if you can draw a line through the bars, that's what your trend is. So thrust, pullback, thrust, so forth. And today is just a bounce. So... But hey, you know what? I hope it, I hope we do have a retrace. Obviously, I hope the shorts go down. But I do. Uh, I would like to see the market do well longer term. But you have to play the hand that's dealt. Russell still looks pretty ugly in here. As you can see, persistent downtrend remains intact for quite a while. So it's very hard for me to get excited about a market that looks like that. As I was saying a second ago, as you go through the sector action, it just really doesn't look that great or it's certainly not as good as the overall market would suggest and you can see that a lot of these are bouncing in here and a couple of them went higher such as real estate but not a whole lot to get too too excited about certainly in the sectors most are trading well below shorter term and longer term moving averages and the bow tie moving averages in most cases as you can see are in downtrend proper order so that's a pretty ugly situation and certainly nothing that you want to get too excited about getting long at least long in general speculative issues ipos are okay when the market's at this juncture but if the market continues to slide maybe even those issues won't be worth going after as usual you know the routine we take things one day at a time so let's see what friday brings any questions david dave landry.com everybody have a fantastic night we'll talk to you tomorrow from that center thank you so much